The NBA MVP race is one of the most anticipated award races in professional sports, and there are roughly eight different players that have a chance to win it this year. While some believe that Joel Embiid is the favorite, others believe Nikola Jokic is deserving of the honor. Cases can also be produced for Giannis Antetokounmpo and Stephen Curry. So as the season enters the second half of the year, why not begin looking at some of the top cases for the award? What are some of the primary reasons why these players should or should not receive the NBA MVP award? Let's start with Embiid, who many consider the frontrunner for the award. So let's look at two reasons why he should and one reason why he shouldn't. First up, Joel Embiid could win MVP this season due to his overwhelming dominance. This is by far the most apparent reason, and it probably doesn't even need to be mentioned, but let's do it anyway. Joel Embiid has been absolutely dominant this season. He presently leads the league in scoring at 29.6 points per game and is tied for 6 in rebounds with 11.2. He can do it all on the court. There's currently no one in the NBA who can guard him, and while certain teams can absolutely slow him down, those games are few and far between. As Embiid said himself, he's like prime Shaquille O'Neal with guard handles. While he's not exactly at Shaq's level yet, he's getting there. Second, he may not be able to win because of James Harden. While this hasn't had an effect on his case yet, it almost certainly will. Until now, Joel Embiid has been on his own, but he will suddenly have a co-star. When he's at his best, James Harden is a top 10 NBA player. He may not have looked like that while playing for the Brooklyn Nets this season. The arrival of Harden to the lineup will surely deprive Embiid of his touches. He's going to be one of the most ball-dominant players in NBA history. That's unavoidable. While Embiid will undoubtedly benefit from Harden's ball dominance, he will not have as much time with the ball. His counting metrics will suffer as a result. Furthermore, up to this point in the season, Embiid has been allowed to do anything that he wants. He's got the ability to pull up from three, get deep in the post, and even bring the ball up the court. With Harden by his side, he'll nearly always find himself in a pick and roll offense. It could benefit the squad, but it could also hinder Embiid's MVP chances if he doesn't continue to dominate as he has. Embiid shouldn't be concerned with the NBA MVP award, he should be concerned with winning, which Harden definitely assists him with. Having said that, Harden's MVP chances are hampered a little. Finally, he has a chance to win because he's alone. When looking at prospective MVP candidates across the league, there aren't many who have carried their team as much as Joel Embiid has. Of course, he won't be alone for much longer, but whatever. With Ben Simmons out and some of his teammates struggling, Embiid has stepped up significantly this season. His ability to put his team on his back has been on full show. Tobias Harris's point total may appear to be great, but he's been suffering with efficiency this year. There's no telling how effectively he'll shoot from night to night. Tyrese Maxey has been a huge assistance to Embiid, but if you told Philadelphia 76ers fans at the start of the season that Embiid's best co-star would be Maxey, most of them would have panicked. That's not a knock on Maxey, it's simply that Embiid lacks the all-elite cast that many other star players in the NBA have. The list goes on and on, and even top players who aren't accompanied by another all-star frequently have a deeper squad than the Sixers. Furthermore, with the trades of Seth Curry and Andre Drummond, the team will have even less depth than before. With Drummond gone, Embiid will be under even more pressure to carry the center position. Embiid has been dominant, and he has done so on a team where he is or was the sole star. When it comes to the NBA MVP voting, this generally means a lot. Well guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video. We'll see you guys next time.